Guys, today we're talking about how to deal with peer pressure with your friends. Ooh. Spicy. What's up guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And this is the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan, the Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. show. So we are live from Kings Island. Well, not live because we won't be here as you're watching this. <laughs> All right guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. We make Christian advice videos on life, love, and dating to help you have hope. And be free. And we also make some fun vlogs, so there's that too. So come along with us as we explore a little more of Kings Island. So Morgan, tell us, we're hoping that the rain holds off, just tell us, say something. I've been rebuking the rain and the clouds all morning and all night last night. Here we are at the Backlot Stunt Coaster. This is by far one of my favorite rides here. We, we actually have seen the sun a little bit. The sun does exist. So when it comes to roller coasters and theme parks, the ladies, they're a little more of the risk takers. Michael and I are feeling a little more hesitant. A little bit. We're still, we're still confident. But we are planning on going on Diamondback. Diving back. This is where it's at right now. The most wicked, the scariest, the most intense roller coaster at Kings Island. Here we go. Michael and I have just determined that roller coasters just aren't for us. <laughs> I think so. So guys, we got good news. Michael was a little shaken up from the uh, Diamondback. We got him some Dramamine. I, I'm back, I'm, I'm improved, and I'm ready to go. Actually, I'm not ready to go on any more roller coasters, um, but I am ready to walk around. He can still have some fun. All right, guys, we're here in the like food court. Um, We're having a great time, we really are. We got some chili cheese dogs. I just hope my, my stomach can hold up after this. Well, yeah. It was the only thing that actually sounded good, so. You just don't want to hurt that's very strange that the only thing that sounded good to Paul was chili cheese dogs. Hey, be nice. <laughs> Here's Mikey. So what's up, what's up? What'd you get? Beef with broccoli with fried rice. Nice. All right, so tell us how you guys are feeling. Are you scared? A little scared. I'm very scared. I talked her into it, now she's talking me into it. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm excited to watch you guys. Morgan and Hannah are about to go on Extreme Sky Flyer. We just saw one go. It is so fast. So fast. I mean, Michael and I Michael and I were almost speechless watching how fast it was going. Yes. We're, we're nervous. Goodness, what are they doing? Oh my goodness. Michael. We have Morgan and Hannah. They are roped in. They're lashed in. To this thing that literally drops it's you so free falling. And it's raining now. Maximum speed is coming down. They're, they're lifting right now. They're rising up into the air, possibly oh. 200 feet high. Oh. La ladies and gentlemen, this is not something you want to do at home. Hannah's hair is soaked. Morgan's pigtails are soaked. Yes. Look at him. Just look, look at him. Just look at him. Right look at him. The sight oh. of them falling would be amazing. It will be. You guys are gonna like this. You guys are gonna like this. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. Just, just give it to us. What was that like? Well, I'm never gonna do that again in my whole life. <laughs> it's about the scariest thing you could ever do in your whole life. It really was it is. Scare, was it as scary, scary as you as it looked? Yeah, yeah. more. Yeah. No, more, more, more scary. Yeah, it doesn't look anywhere near scary. 
you got up there? I don't know. Why? I mean, did it feel as high as your eyes closed? Oh my goodness, it was I mean, so good. It see? When he like said three, two, one, fly, and I was supposed to pull the ripcord, like I didn't even think about it, so I just pulled it, and immediately I regretted pulling it, and I was like, ah! <laughs> I have to go up into the Eiffel Tower of the French, and here we go up. The one ride the guys can and are willing to do, even yeah. though it's not a ride. <laughs> well, it is pretty high. <laughs> Not free solo. <laughs> Guys, today we're talking about how to deal with peer pressure with your friends. Ooh. Spicy. Michael and I have been feeling a little peer pressure <laughs> to ride wow. to ride some of these big rides. But what about when it comes to peer pressure of doing things that truly go against your moral compass? Things that perhaps the Bible literally says is not is not good to do yeah do you guys find yourself hanging out with a group of friends where you feel like okay i've got these standards and these morals and these rules in my life but then all my friends are just kind of like pressuring me to live the way they're living and you're realizing maybe you and your friend group aren't really morally lining up they're maybe pushing you to do things that you feel a little bit uncomfortable doing or just don't want to do it all and that doesn't necessarily mean that the friend group is, you know, they're heathens. In high school, I, I hung out with some people that were walking with the Lord, but there were times when I felt the pressure of doing something that went against my conscience. When it comes to peer pressure, you have to have, I think, a foundation of being okay with going against like the status quo. And just because something is socially expected, as we see in culture right now, doesn't mean it's biblically grounded, doesn't mean it's biblically mandated. Many times things that, that we live by according to the Word of God and what Jesus preached is really antithetical to what culture is promoting and even sometimes in your friend group. So I would encourage you all, um, just because it may be the status quo, just because it may be societally expected within your friend group, does not mean that is the best way, does not mean that is certainly where God is leading you um, to live. So choose to follow Christ and then He'll give you the grace to make the right decisions and, and put people in your life too they're gonna make decisions that are sharpening you and not just you always trying to carry people along because if you're constantly carrying people along, eventually um, you're gonna to succumb to some of that temptation. Guys, it's okay to be different, to look a little bit strange or weird or, oh, you're too strict, you know, whatever. Growing up for me, I had friends where, you know, they were doing things or they started stepping into, you know, doing things with their boyfriends that I was just not okay with. And so like, I kind of made it clear to them like, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to, that's not something I'm going to do. And I ended up losing some friends because I just st stood my ground and that's okay. You might lose a few friends, but that's okay because it just kind of shows that, well, maybe they weren't your true friends to begin with. I would just like just trust the Lord with, you know, bringing the right friends into your life. Um, those friends who will encourage you not to go against what your moral standards are. I think that's a one, that's, that's what I've tried to do throughout my life is not hang out with those people that I feel like are going to pressure me to do things that I don't want to do. But if you're in that situation and you're in that friend group and they are pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do, just ask God for like the boldness to stand up and just speak out, you know, and say, hey guys, like this is not okay, I don't wanna do this. And even if they leave you and they're not your friend anymore, all that matters is that you followed what God wanted you to do instead of what your friends wanted you to do. Examine who you're hanging out with, examine, think about it, think, are these people encouraging me in my walk? Is there iron sharpening iron? Or are these relationships that in my mind I'm thinking, you know, I can build them up, I can help them in their walk with Christ, but ultimately if that just continues and that's your main friend group, you're probably gonna end up getting torn down and doing more compromise than you are building them up. That's just what I've seen. Yeah. 
And when it comes to peer pressure, remember that when Jesus was in the desert, the enemy came to him and tried to peer pressure him into jumping off of a mountain, into eating or turning rocks into bread. Um, and so if Jesus can say no, we can too, because he says that you will do everything that I've done and far greater. And Jesus so quickly went to scripture, as Michael said, be in the word so that you know what is right and what is wrong. Be in the word so that you can build up your spiritual Holy Spirit compass. And you can quickly go to the word when people are pushing you to do something and do something that you're not sure about. You can think, oh, well, the Bible says don't get drunk. So boom, guys, I'm not doing that with you all. And then push back and say, and, and why are you all doing that if you're claiming to be Christians? Mm -hmm. um, if they're doing other things, like Morgan had said, you know, with their boyfriend and girlfriend in a relationship and, uh, you know, just ask the Lord to help you and give you boldness because it can be difficult. You know, you love these people. Maybe you've been friends with them for a long time. The first step, I think, is just deciding in your heart, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to give in. And then the second step, as you continue to grow in your boldness, would be to challenge them and to say, in a loving way, guys, why are you doing this? But I would say if you feel like you're not at a place yet, maybe in your maturity or with the Lord, where you can push back and challenge them, I would just recommend that you get out of that relationship altogether. Don't don't put yourself in that position. Guys, comment below and let us know if you've dealt with peer pressure and perhaps you've overcome. Give some tips. Encourage the fam. Also comment, let us know if you've ever been to Kings Island. Are you more of an adrenaline junkie that loves the roller coasters or are you more like Michael and I who just enjoy the sights and smells and supporting who we're with? <laughs> Wow. And the water rides, which we want to do next time. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you're proud of Hannah and Morgan riding that <laughs> giant free fall swing ride. <gasps> I'm proud of you guys. Thumbs up for that. Shout out to Kings Island for hooking us up with these tickets. We are very grateful. We had a blast and we will be back soon. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Michael's channel and Hannah Williamson's channel, Michael Span, Hannah Williamson, they got some solid stuff going on YouTube as well. We'll link their channels below. We love you all. We will see you very soon. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Have hope. And be free. free. <laughs> <laughs>